interrupt this program to prescribe you with a thousand milligrams of red vitamins. Right here, right here, right now, right now. It's the right time, right time, right time. It's the right time, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now. Till the whole pie down, pie down, pie down. What's good, Shadow Realm? It's your boy Reclaim Your Throne coming at you with another crazy video. But first, my goal is to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And you already know, Reclaim Your Throne. So, guys, I want to break down this video of Pinky Doll, and apparently she's getting exposed. I kind of think that it's for PR, but hell, she's. I mean, if this is acting, it is pretty horrible acting, um, but she's playing it up. So let's buy into the fact that she's actually ashamed that she is a corn star. All right, let's just buy into it and play for a little bit like she's being genuine in her regret for doing online adult film stuff. OK, like I said, did modern women have the digital footprint of an adult film actress? So. She is basically um, <laughs> facing her actions and facing the consequences online. And people are trolling her because they have videos of her getting smashed out and giving some top, which I did go and look at for research purposes um, in the intent of giving an objective description of this video. So um, let's get into the video. So I went to Google, I went to Google, I put Pinky Doll naked, and I click on pictures. And what I see, what I see, there's a lot of page, there's a lot of page. You keep swiping and swiping and swiping, it don't stop, it don't stop. And I see all this website, how dare you? You gonna let other people put my face, my body out here, doing stuff like that? How dare you? We start asking an ID, where's the ID turns? Tell me that. What's up? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you something today. I'm going to sue all of you. All of you are going to sue you. I'm going to sue you. Y'all want to play with me? You allow the people post big doll? Really? Because you know you're about to get paid? Well, guess what? I'm about to get all that money. All that money. Well, you heard her. She's about to get all your money. And... She is highly upset about her nudes and her videos getting leaked. I saw the videos. I saw Enrique smashing her out. I saw her giving top to Enrique. I saw her licking all types of genitalia. And what I will say is she honestly looks better on TikTok because she was looking like she was from the straight Brazilian jungles in them videos that the, the Wi-Fi was streaky um it looks like they was filming off of a blackberry from 2008 i mean shorty was struggle hoeing that that is the biggest struggle hoeing i've ever seen in my life okay however when you start to see these modern women face their consequences the the, re, the reality is they can't take it she is melting down online or seemingly melting down online um, it, it looks like mentally she is not all the way there. Um, obviously a lack of education. English is not her first language. So she's kind of speaking this Spanglish and it's a little difficult to understand what she's really saying. And she's not making any sense in the first place. So it's kind of like, um, you know, it, it's a futile attempt to even try and make sense of what she's saying but you can tell that she is upset and you know her, her actions are now coming to the forefront and she is going to have to face them her family's going to have to face them her children are going to have to face them because she's online giving top okay and she's online getting papped out but she wasn't complaining when that bread was coming in so my issue with the the retroactively withdrawing consent um which women do all the time and i speak about all the time 
is stand on it. If you're a corn star, stand on it, all right? You don't see um, Angela White coming out here saying, oh, my pictures is on this site that I didn't approve and this site that I didn't approve. Okay, you don't see, um, I don't know, who's another one, a uh, famous one? I don't know. Uh, well, you see Mia Khalifa doing it and Lana Rhodes. See, y'all need to just stand on your decision or don't do it at all because... <laughs> It's kind of whack when you're like, you know, you're, you're speaking bad about the industry after you done participated. It's disingenuous at best. I had to go breach for two minutes because I was too much in my feelings and I still in my feelings because now my family is sending me posts about everything is going on out here about the leaks. Because you can even find it on TikTok. They put it on TikTok. They probably like put something in the front of the picture so you cannot see everything. I'm in a car and doing stuff. And they tell you go to Twitter, it get crazier. And when you go to Twitter, I'm not even kidding, guys. There's a million, a million tweets on me about Pinky Dog got exposed, lick. A million, a million. How am I going to erase that in a day? It's impossible. I got to go make calls and everything. I am so ashamed that my family got to see that too. Why, you guys? Why? <laughs> I try to go forward, but you always going to bring my past. Always, always. Well, um, your past is what made you. And like I said, um, you know, she's a cute girl. She, she was not looking favorable in those videos or pictures. And, you know, maybe we'll revisit them on, uh, I don't know, the Patreon or something like that. Where we can review stuff like that. Or the Rumble. Well, I don't think you can do nudity on Rumble. But <clears throat> it's very interesting to see the regret. Honestly, I don't see any tears. I don't see any smeared makeup. So like I said, it could be an act. It could be for more clicks, more views. People in the comments section are questioning her motives. Um, she did do intercourse work and most likely still participates in doing intercourse work. As a matter of fact, I looked at her Instagram and she was still posting um, IG model type content. So I don't think necessarily that she regrets what she did, but more so that she got caught <clears throat> specifically by her family. And like I told you guys before, um women love doing intercourse work they really do and that's kind of their default like it's kind of what they genuinely want to default to if they had the ability to do it without being judged okay the biggest thing that hurts women is the fact that they are judged for doing this type of work otherwise i guarantee you would see at least 60 percent of women um, if the, well, let me not even say 60% of women, 60% of the good looking women, maybe even more go into it. Like I said, I mean, there ain't no eight, nine or 10 who ain't on OF in this day and age. So you can forget about it. <laughs> um, but, uh, it, it, that's kind of like what they really want to default to, but they don't want to be judged for it. So that's what she regrets. The fact that, you know, being judged was on the table. I don't understand, guys. This is so ridiculous. How dare you gonna expose me everywhere? The Twitter is full of it. There's a thousand, a thousand, a thousand of tweets. A thousand of my picking on got exposed. What is that? You see, I'm trying to do something right nice. No, you wanna put your nose in my business, blow everything everywhere. Twitter. How dare you? How dare you? You're gonna take my stuff and put it out here like it's nothing. How come? Like why? How am I supposed to do this all this in a week? How? That's more than a thousand. It's... I can't. Like why? Y'all guys make me going crazy. You make me going crazy. How come, guys? So she said, you're making me go crazy. How, how, how? Um, I, I don't see why she would be confused as to how she got exposed. It's really not a mystery how. 
you posted content online and it was shared, it was downloaded, it was posted to another site, that causes a chain reaction and an inevitable forever loop because people can download it on their hard drives and post it back whenever they want. You can delete the videos as much as you want, but you're going to be spending all of your money on deleting the videos. It's like the women do all of these things, OnlyFans and whatnot, they don't stand on their decision. If you're gonna do it, stand on it. No regrets, okay? No regrets, stand on it. F your you know, mental health and emotional support and your family you know, being ashamed of you, F that. But they can't do that, all right? Because women are not built to do that. They're a communal, um, they're a communal type people. So they need to be around people and they need to feel accepted. They need to feel liked and they need to feel loved, man. Women need to feel loved. Men do too, but men can also thrive on hatred, all right? We can thrive on it. When a woman thrives on hatred, she comes off as bitter. And maybe that is just the plight of women and femininity is that we expect them to be a certain way. So when they fight back, um, it comes off as bitter and it's almost laughable to most men. Um, however, <clears throat> when women uh try and, and and you know <laughs> i guess do the m m effect the what is it the um the eight mile thing where they own their mistakes it really doesn't hit the same especially when it comes to intercourse work now if they were owning something honorable or what most people consider honorable then it would be respected but if she stands on intercourse work Men aren't going to respect it. And that's just how the world works. So, um, you know, I'm sure that she could get a Thug Max Alpha Simp to date her 100%. But he's going to milk her for her money. She's not going to be able to date a high value man. At this point, she's also a single mother. Um, and she seems very much bat-ish crazy. So, you know, I, I don't... <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't, you know... It's not... I don't honestly it is kind of funny that she I, I'm not gonna lie it is kind of funny because here's the thing she made all this money off of intercourse work and now she might spend a, the rest of her life spending all of her money to get all of that content removed off of the internet and that is what a lot of these women don't tell you about um, but like I said we as men do benefit from intercourse workers i'm not going to tell these ladies what to do with their bodies um but if you do something that you feel like you may regret in the future um people are going to take advantage of it and yes if you post a video of you giving top online people are going to jerk off to it so i don't know what you expect and people are going to want to save it and then tuck it in for a rainy day i don't know what you expect so um, very interesting to see her not being able to stand on it. I thought she was a bona fide intercourse worker and she was like 10 toes because when I looked at her OnlyFans, um, she was like touching herself and doing all types of stuff like she was, you know what I'm saying? She was going in. Um, so and I didn't pay for it. You guys already know I torrented the OnlyFans um, and maybe we can get into how to do that. In a later video, but <laughs> um, I don't be paying for none of you chick only fans. But um, anyways, hey man, that is that's the game, and I know a lot of women are definitely regretting. I saw a video of this Asian woman who was regretting doing OF, but you know, by then there's already videos, pictures of you giving top, and men are consuming it, and there are so many men who are consuming it that those videos are going to be spread into infinity so you already know what it is man it's your boy reclaiming the throne make sure you like comment share subscribe send your relationship request to email down below with a screenshot of your catch up so i know you're paying your time man y'all need to be on your motherfucking leaving the bs and you already know reclaim your throne want to become an elite level athlete well look no further 
The Reclaim Your Throne Elite D1 training course is all you need to take your performance from subpar to the creme de la creme of athletes all around the world. The purpose of this course is to give you a comprehensive weight training, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance program that is meant to prepare young athletes for collegiate and professional sports. This course is packed with over two hours of creative, action-packed lifts narrated and coached by yours truly to assure increased strength, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance. Hey, I get it. Training alone can be tough and can even make you feel misguided or somewhat unmotivated. But with this course, I walk you step by step through each and every lift to make sure you're using the proper form to prevent injuries and that you're hitting the correct muscle groups to render maximum results. So what are you waiting for? It's now or never. So go ahead and get the training course today so you too can reclaim your throne.